All right, guys, the Thanksgiving holiday's over. It's been kind of busy with that, so I haven't had a lot of time to play or uh, make any videos. So, but tomorrow, obviously, we're getting a new comic. Looking forward to that. Also, we I think I've said before in my other videos, uh, balance changes are coming. So, I wanted to record tonight some gameplay, but I was going to do, whoops, not that. I was going to do either more of my Lex uh, Zantana, which I have a lot of fun, uh, or uh, Neil, or uh, Uncle, uh, there's a lot of different decks. And also, I wanted to um, showcase, uh, I added this into my Black Adam Aquaman deck, you know, giving thanks. It's a very interesting card because it heals your leaders charges them, which is great. It also does it to your opponent, which is not great. So, ah, but with Black Adam, it could really fit in some of those turns where uh, he doesn't have any ramp for his ability or to maybe get his charge going to get a sneak 10k to the dome or some, some shenanigans. So we're not going to play that tonight. I figured since uh, it's been hinted that Mr. Batman's getting a nerf, let's go to everyone's favorite deck, Aquabat. This is my build. I don't know if it's the optimized version, but I played this before. It's real fun, obviously. Um, I don't really play a lot of Batman like I've told you guys before. So I'm probably, uh, you know, probably not the best pilot, but... Yeah, let's do it, because to come tomorrow, Batman might not be in the same category. He might... Uh, so let's think. What do you guys think? Is he going to nerf his HP? Uh, they've already done that. Uh, then he'd be a little bit weaker, obviously. Uh, I think a couple things. There's a couple things they could do with him. One, they could technically increase his cost. Three, that would slow down Batman substantially. Three charges, three attack... And seek uh, one or two gadgets. So there's that. Or they could keep it at two charges, two attack, bring down his attack down, which means he's not going to be able to contest the board effectively early game. So that's pretty substantial. And, um, you know, seek the gadgets. Or keep two charges, three attack, and he just gets a random, uh, uh, What's it called? Uh, Gadget. He doesn't actually seek anymore. Kind of like the Bluebird or whatever it's called, I think. That's her name? She's not even in the deck. But you know who I'm talking about, where she uh, gives a random uh, gadget. So they could do that as well. I don't know what you guys think could be possibly the best nerf for uh, uh, Batman. Maybe they will we'll nerf his health and he you know, he gets a lot of utility from his healing gadgets so bandage so maybe he could just heal it back he'd be more uh it could rush be rushed down though stuff like that so yeah i don't know what they're gonna do we'll find out tomorrow but i really hope they do some buffs uh, let's yeah thinking about a buff so let's go over some cards i think would love to be buffed there's up there what's going on oh don't know why that happened but anyways uh yeah, Ghost, the Gentleman Ghost. I would love him to be a 2-2. Two -two. He's actually a really good card. Uh, can't protect, which is a downside, obviously, if you put it in front of your hero. Hunter, which is awesome, especially you can get those naughty hiddens or naughty, uh, you know, stuff going, you know, on the board being protected. And it can't be attacked, so that's really, really good. What's holding this, I think, back from, obviously, if you put him in Might, it won't be such an issue with super strength. But what's holding him back is that one defense with uh, Batman being so in the meta. So maybe if there's a meta switch, maybe the gentleman's go gentleman ghost will see more play. That's just one example. Uh, yeah, there could be other other buffs as well. Uh, for leaders, let's take a look. I would love to see a Hal Jordan, I think, needs some love. Um... He's pretty weak if you think about it. I mean, there's some uses. Generating is really good, but, you know. They did buff him with that four attack, which is good. Three charges, four attack, and generate. But maybe every time he uses uh, his ability, he could get a random green liner that just goes to his... To his... Uh, to his... Uh, 
hand, or maybe he could discover uh, bronze or silver, you know, something in the lines of like green arrow. So we'll see on that. Zentana? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe she could get an attack buff. That really wouldn't be her thing. Uh, but I really do think Cyborg could possibly get a little bit of a, even a bigger buff, a little bit of a buff, maybe. Like um, some people in the community were saying every time he targets a minion with his ability, because ten, people tend to save this for the dome, right? For leaders, that he gets like a Luther thing where he gets a couple charge back. So that'd be kind of interesting to see what they do. Green Arrow, I think, is actually underrated. He's probably fine as he is, especially with the Batman nerf. He might really be kind of a top meta but batman who laughs this is an interesting one i think his ability is awesome uh well it's interesting right chaotic if you know and flurry is cool you could but kind of you know set up some good combos but i do think he could do a couple things maybe get uh one more defense or maybe his defense is fine but i think he could use like two attack i would love to see that three the rap, the the rabid robin, and then two attack, or maybe even one. I know one would be kind of weak, but then you kind of starting to get to the point where maybe he would become a little bit too powerful. But yeah, definitely some love there. Um, Zod, I think he's fine. Uh, maybe put matches Kryptonian nephew by adding two more defense because originally Superman and Zod were at twenty two, so maybe they could buff him up. That way, make him a little bit more uh, tanky because the people tend to focus on Mr. Zod big time. All right, guys. So let's go over the deck list and we're going to play some games. Yeah, I wasn't going to play this because I know everyone hates it. I actually haven't played this deck that much. I've showcased it only once. But uh, since Batman is going to be getting nerfed, or at least it got hinted, we, you know, nothing's official until tomorrow. And I do hope there's some buffs. Um, we're going to play it. So 15 mentor, super strength, her, she's just a staple. Steve, of course, the mentor, uh, utility belts, Alfred, detective chimp. I love the blue beetle package myself. The question Frankenstein instead of steel, cause I like it a little bit more punch, but you know, you guys could put steel in there. Lobo. She's just too good. Queen's too good. Batman, beetle, Catwoman, green arrow, Jaime, only one Mr. Fox, Ooh, one Robin. Mm. The reason I have one Robin is because the blue bit. I could te technically take one of him out and put him, but uh want to see. Um, and then, yeah, Tooth and Dress is just too good. Superman, Batman, Batmobile, and then Mr. Batman, the recruit himself. So let's see how we do. It's been a bit rusty. I haven't played for a while. Okay, guys, let's go. <laughs> the mirror... The I big game. All right, the mirror. So let's definitely get early game. Ooh, this is actually a pretty good start. So it's the mirror. So whoever high rolls the best, I guess. Whoever low rolls the best. So we're going to put Alfred so we could get some. Ooh, well, double the Alfred, double the fun. So we'll see uh, what my opponent does here. I love their back, card back. I love mine too. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We do got super strength so we could get a good trade or put some pressure, make uh, Mr. Alfred a little bit more tanky so he doesn't get killed. Or killed, sorry. Yeah, I, I need to do a run for World's Finest. I know the World's Finest uh, grind is actually a lot worse, but I've been playing a lot of Rumble Warcraft Rumble, and I got a lot of upgrades and talents today, so I'm going to definitely be play, doing more player versus player um, content for Rumble because it's such a great game and such a guru. Well, we're going to do the same. Interesting that he puts him back there. Alfred's going to be buffed, so let's protect Batman. Do this. We could actually protect and get a favorable trade or we could develop but i kind of want to keep this we'll do this do this just in case make it a little bit harder for my opponent to kill aquaman goes next turn but so does this turn my opponent does so if they high roll well, what can we do if they get the if they get the freaking no we don't but they do get a very good um 
minion or recruit. So we'll see what our Aquaman does. Now Batman takes out Steve. So we don't get that awesome trade there. So we're going to have to sacrifice our, our Alfred because we're not going to allow 7-2 to run rampant. Ooh, they just go face with that, huh? Yeah, which makes sense because... All right, so let's see what we could do. We could face tank, but I don't think... Ooh, especially if we're getting all this healing. All right, so we're definitely doing this. Definitely doing this. Oh, oh ah, that was a misplay. I forgot about the hero power. Okay, well, that would have been buffed. All right, so let me look. Well, we're definitely doing this. Hmm, do we use uh, Batman's thing this turn? Go, I'm not taking seven to the dome. Oh, man, I would... This feels better, should we? We could heal. Uh, you know what? We have healing. We have an Alfred in hand. Uh, let's see. I think we'll take this. This isn't aura. Oh, it is aura, so it doesn't work. All right, so we do this. Save that aura for... Oh, we killed their Batman. Let's do this. Let's keep our board. We got board. My opponent does not. Uh, there was that misplay with the queen, though, that the shark would be a 6-5, so there is that. But uh, I'm pretty confident. Anything we go in there, we have these two smaller minions. We also have hunter deals 5 that would be sick. Well, GG. Yeah, uh, there was that misplay. I got to remember that kind of stuff. You get sidetracked when you're kind of planning out your turns. But yeah, it's little things like that could cost you a game, guys. All right, I'll be right back. Jeez, nothing but mirrors tonight. I guess everyone's saying farewell to this possible meta tyrant. All right, well, those, that's a great, mm, do we ever, with that great hand, do we ever keep the queen? I think we do. Maybe that's a little bit greedy, but we'll see. Wow, we got the same matching avatars. All right, so we have a Steve, they have a Steve. We're going to do the same, get our aqua. I wonder why they put Steve back there. It's not like he's a prized, prized, uh, we're going to protect our Mr. Bats. But yeah, let's see if this mirror goes. Yeah, I'm interested, guys. Let me... Ooh, world's finest card back. Uh, yeah, the Twitch drops got fixed today. I finally got my Batgirl icon and all that. Well, we have that, which is good. Now, he's going to go to the dome. There's no way he trades here. Oh, well, maybe... Well, okay, well... It's pretty good for my opponent. I don't know if I would have traded personally. But all right, so we don't really have... Maybe it was too greedy keeping the queen... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Let's do... The, now we're really, really far behind. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to get rid of that shield because... Okay, that's good. Let's do that. I don't know. Do we, I think we do punch the shield. We could have actually made this a useless attacker, but no, I really don't like him getting a, to be able to take out the fishy fish by himself. Uh, I do think we take it out. That might be a misplay, though. I think that whole last turn was a misplay. We could have made this a nothing, but, you know, taking out a little bit. I don't know. I think we go to the dub, but nah, we're going to get the board in good, uh, in good, uh, what's it called, condition. Oh, geez, they're doing another... Okay, so we mirrored that. <laughs> Detective Chimps, excellent. Yeah, that, my mulligan was really greedy, guys. Really, really, really greedy. We're going to get punished for that, unfortunately. We do have our queen. But, um, yeah, they're ahead on board. So I think this is GG. It's going to be tough for us to get back into this. Especially with the chimp. That shield, though. So it did do some work. Uh, well, we do get to kill that, which is amazing. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Do we hit one of these guys to get some more damage off of them? I kind of think maybe that. Or we could get her aura out, which would be kind of nice, right? Um... Mm, it doesn't really matter, though. Well. Uh, 
Oh, man. So we could do this. If we buff this up, that gives it a little bit of three. That gives it five power, right? That just dies. So let's just develop another minion. Mm, yeah. Oh, I don't know. What's good about this is it allows me to kind of use my leader's ability once the evade has gone to get a trade. Because if it's at four health, it's going to be a lot more difficult. And now that's bad because I'm not going to be able to I have no answer for that. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, is he returning? Chimp? Oh, her. Okay, yeah, that's good. Actually, that's really good. Yeah, this is GG. GG when we... we that's an 8 health, man. Ah, uh, well, we're definitely doing that. Ah, oh, man. We, we have to do minions here, guys. We can't... I mean, Rakuch, we can't be greedy. Uh, our Batman's almost... But we, we have to do this. Unfortunately, this is going to go to town and steal our precious resources. That's not good. Yeah, I think my my uh, my opener was really, really bad. I shouldn't have been greedy with the queen. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't play this deck enough to really know. And that's where you, you have to focus on one deck. Now... Oh, no. Oh, this really sucks. He could get my Batman, my Batmobile, to, or Truth and Justice. But, yeah. Um, then this here is so difficult to get rid of. We're not going to be able to get to her. Is he going to double trade into there? No, because he's going to have to swing to get rid of Zade. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's GG. We, we do, Well, that was a little bit of an... It's weird. Uh, but yeah, we, there's no way we get back into this. Uh, that's kind of bad uh, trading for him, but we have no way of getting... I mean, we do, but... We're just way far behind. All right, well, that's good. Um, Let's see what we get here. Okay, that's pretty... Decent. We didn't high roll. Oh man, we could do this to protect. Get plus two tick. That six. We, we, oh man, we don't. Or we could do this to get the four. That would be still wouldn't be enough. We'd still have to swing it in. Um. Oh man, we can't leave it up. And well, he's dead. But yeah, we're out. All right, let's go to the next one. There's no way we recover from that. Uh, that six five is just gonna keep going to the dome, and then we're not. We're just way too far. But I think uh, bad mulligan. All right, let's go. <laughs> so look at this guy suffering here. All right. Uh, whoa, that's actually a pretty decent opener. Oh, against an form of aggressive deck, we go second. Do we ever keep Batman recruits? Well, I guess it doesn't really. All right, so last game, we could have let them trade. But the thing is, the cat one was going to kill Aquaman, and then Aquaman dies. Uh, yeah, with the shields would have helped kind of with the taunt, stuff like that, but it's just it's just not enough. We might have to do Batman here to contest this early game, because if we get a boomerang, it will be really good. Um, normally, I like to put it on Mr. Aqua. But we're going to do that. Uh, we don't get to clear everything. Do we we do this for the one that's going to live? So it doesn't get to kill Steve. And then we tank that. Unfortunately, we take the extra damage. But this isn't gonna be able to contest Steve. So I think that's a little bit of a, a little bit of a good trade-off. Next turn we have Mentar and then maybe the question. Well, that's really good. Oh, that's really, really good. So she's going to buff up. She takes out Steve. Oh, we're really, really behind, guys. I don't know if we're going to get there. We don't know if we're going to get there, unfortunately. We need, we, we need something big this turn. Ooh, Alfred's pretty good. Oh, I mean, I would love to protect him, but uh, I need the... Ah, uh... oh, man, we're so behind. 
I would love to. Normally, you want to protect Alfred. We got another one in hand, but it's a soft taunt. They're going to kill it for sure. They'll probably use uh, Super Robot here to tank it, to hit it for free. Then maybe. Oof, we're so behind, guys. So behind. I don't think we're going to get there. Yeah, it's just GG. I mean, there's. We get. They, they just get too many. They don't get great. They get that great trade. They might just. They're. Ooh, they're just going to the dome. They're not going to respect. I think that's a mistake. Oh, no, no. Harley's going to get. Yeah, I think that's a mistake because now I get to um, heals. So, yeah, I think that's a bit of a mistake. Ooh, that's great, but we cannot do the hidden Well, This is going there. Let's do him first so we have a good defense. Okay, Harley. So. Oh, that would have been a kind of a good thing, too. All right. So before we do anything else, we need to... Oh, well, hold on. Let's do this. Uh, I would love to get Batman out there, but he need... Like, all this stuff is garbage. We're going to do this. So it's basically useless, and we don't want to... Do well, of course, Mike can... Can, um... Buff it. Uh, we have to sacrifice this, unfortunately. Uh, he cannot take any more damage. Whoops, whoops, what's going on? We have another Alfred we could put back there. Uh, will we do this? Do this. This, get a card draw. Oh, that's pretty decent. Uh, Batman's really low. Uh, Wonder Woman's off again. Let's see if we could get back into this game. Uh, Batman's pretty well protected. We could have tried a high roll with this, but it's a lot of RNG. Uh, next turn, uh, we'll see what we do. The hidden's great and all, but the problem with the hidden is I needed a defender for Batman or he would be dead this turn. So, <laughs> and getting rid of that, even though it was one attack or two attack, whatever it was, it's just basically wasting space now so they're gonna have to all right so they switch oh my god so much aggression can we make a comeback is the question so they didn't really develop that much getting that heal though all right so now uh, we don't really have a good blocker so we have to clean up here so we're definitely doing okay hold on let's let's plan our turns out this this is a beat has to die. This has to die too. All right, so let's do this. So now that we got that, we'll do this. He's still protected, right? So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. He's at nine, he's at nine. He's gonna be taking a face hit next turn, guaranteed. Or he, we could heal up Lobo here so that they don't get, uh, I kinda believe it or not, I like doing this. Yes, he's vulnerable, but we have a minion that's coming up next turn. Uh, there's one bad downside about uh, about hidden with um, an aggressive deck, uh, like Aquaman's literally be, ah. Could be killed. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay. We could have played her, but... Uh, okay. Well, that's okay. We could sacrifice this, I guess. I don't like it, but it's a lot better than sacrificing him. Uh, this could get this trade. Uh, let's, let's look at what we get, though. Okay. So, uh, I might use Batman's ability just to see if we could... All right, well, we cannot be greedy here. We have to kill that. So, but let's do... If we get a boomerang here to hit this, it's really, really good. Let's do that real quick so we can preserve our minion. I hate doing this normal, normal most of the time, but... Oh, wish. Your wish is my command. Okay, we got rid of that. That's awesome. Uh, we cannot leave this up. I mean, we could be greedy, right? I mean, that's, uh, that's, uh, we almost got, uh, what's it called? Uh, 
lethal on, or do we? Let me do the math here. But let me see. Now I want to do is, are we going to play? Um, let's see. Are we going to play Catwoman or Blue Beetle or Paco? All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know if this is a mistake, but, uh, mm, it might be a mistake. We're doing that anyways. We're just going to put pressure and then, uh, we're going to do this. All right, let's put the pressure. Uh, we have a lot of defenders. We're going to make our opponent because we kind of have to push pressure here. Otherwise they're top decking. We got charge mechanics with Paco next turn. Ah, I know it's not effective, but they can't, they don't have any clear path to the dome. Uh, we have the blue beetle in the background to guarantee a kill on Harley next turn. So I think that might be a misplay guys, but this isn't Hunter. If this was any kind of Hunter synergy, of course, I could. Now this could sacrifice into that. If they're smart, they would get rid of uh, Homeboy, right? but they might just get rid of that 9-5. I don't like doing that, guys, because I don't like leaving a board against Might, but uh, we're going to have to put the back pedal, let them decide what they're going to do. All right, yeah, that was a smart move. See, so I didn't get punished per se, so that's good. Ooh, wow. All right. All right, so let's uh, get this going. We're going to charge our guys up. All right, so first things first... We're going to kill and get those free. Ooh. Ooh, we're going to lose a minion here, but that's fine. Uh, as much as I'd love just to go after her, we could do this. We're going to have to trade anyways. Uh, I know this is bad, but because we technically, but we're being greedy with our, um, with our, What's it called? Uh, there we go. There we go, baby. All right. So this has to go here. We can't leave it there. And I, I know what you're saying. Oh, what the hell? But we're doing this. So that way we get homeboy on. Um, I think we could get rid of... Mm, do we get rid of Lobo here? And then we do this. We're taking this out just in case they buff it. Oh, we could do this. Do this. Do this. And let's see what we get here. There we go. And then let's just get a lethal setup for next all right that's not the best <laughs> probably plays guys but a little bit greed on my end but hey it's all good and i don't know how they're gonna get there yet Ooh, better tomorrow because this right here is lethal setup oh well that is that so ooh, wow they do kill mr uh uh what's it called What's the same? But that don't matter because look at all these hunters I have on board. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Not going to be him. All right, so. <laughs> I would be him, huh? All right, and then, yeah. GG. All right, I'm going to look at that video. There's definitely some questionable plays, but I think my decision not to trade and just, and that was what I was debating. I was like, should I, should I? Greed, should I go after Harley to set her up for guaranteed lethal? Uh, I'm taking the risk of Lobo dying, so there was that as well. So it wasn't guaranteed value, but I think overall it was a good game. Definitely um, a lot of fun. And then tomorrow, this deck might not be might not be as powerful, guys. So that's why I decided to play it. One bid farewell, maybe Batman. Well, I don't think they're gonna. I honestly, do not think they're gonna nerf. Batman into the ground, guys. I do not. I think he's just going to be toned down a bit, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Here, let's do a...
Now nah, we're in the video now. It's been pretty long. I like to do a recap. Uh, actually, let's do that. Hold on. All right, we're back again. That was an interesting last game. Kind of went against my normal play style. I don't like leaving stuff on boards, but uh, sometimes risks are part of the game, right? So yeah, we decided to go a little bit aggressive, which was benefit we didn't get punished. And uh, yeah, I love this. Uh, I actually love this deck a lot. It's really cool. So it's interesting to see what's going to happen to our good friend Batman. Now, for coming up later in the week, uh, I do want to showcase this. It's been up to, I took out the um, Warlord and put in giving thanks. I don't know. We're going to see how this plays out. And what's cool is starting tomorrow after nerfs, maybe Black Adam. I think Black Adam's not as bad as people think. He's not bad, but he's just, you know, it's a, it's just the meta is kind of, um, it's kind of a little bit tough for him, right? People tend to focus him hardcore, so if you don't get good opening hands. But yeah, I, I, I'm thinking this card's not as bad as some people think. It's by very niche, so you're not going to play it in a lot of decks. But I think with Black Adam, it's going to have a home, so we're definitely going to play some more of th this. Uh, oh, by the way, we've added All Hollow's Eve, which is an excellent card for this, especially if you can high roll. But, uh, oh, but uh, we're going to play that. But we'll look at what we finally got, a mono deck. I don't think I've ever played or showcased Mono Might. Mono Might's actually pretty good. Obviously, it has some hard counters with Tyranny instance. Any board clears as the minion, minion recruit-based deck. And it's very much, if it loses it, it will not uh, do good recover. No good recover mechanics. So, uh, we have Olsen. We have the shield package, obviously. Fitting Mentor. Uh, favor of the gods. You don't have a lot of card draw in this game in this deck, so you can uh, every little bit you can get super strength. Uh, here we go, Mister uh, Bibiwo here, guy. So he could potentially draw you a card, Lotus Lane. I've never really played much with her. Um, I'm wondering if we get the Superman recruit the, on the Clark Kent, but mm, maybe a little bit greedy. Two tenth medals. We have him because of shield, Shields uh, synergy, and yeah. So you're basically don't know how much different you're gonna build this type of deck. I mean, maybe some more like uh, removal options. You got the you got the bracers you could use, which is probably actually kind of nice. Hmm. Where would we fit that though? To think about it. Yeah, so bracelets is definitely something you consider. Uh, Clark Kent is something you might want to consider. Ooh, we might want to consider him too. Oh, so there's never enough space. But anyways, guys, we'll definitely be doing that. But I want to get back and play some of this. This deck I played a good amount off stream or off whatever you want to call it, YouTube. And it does good. Uh, and it's going to be more interesting to see if it is going to have a little bit more breathing space too. I took out one Nick. I thought two was a little bit greedy, but we'll, we'll see. We'll definitely have to refine this. I want to put uh, the uh, new uh, card back. What's his name? There he is, Jason Blood. I think I want to put him back. I, I, I don't think he's bad. He just takes a little bit of a... You know, situational or some setup so but yeah when he does go off though he's uh he, he's really really good that uh demon is really pretty powerful but anyways guys uh tomorrow we'll have a comic and then we'll go over the patch notes and see our thoughts and see how maybe it's going to shake up the meta i'm pretty sure it will especially if mr bats is getting nerfed but anyways guys uh, yeah some gameplay um don't think it was optimal but we won two out of three right all right guys take care good night